So let's just jump into it. We'll start off with the Supreme Louis Vuitton. As you guys know, last Friday, Supreme Louis Vuitton dropped the pop-up shop in an eight cities around the world. Miami was lucky to have one of them. If you guys didn't see that vlog, make sure you guys go check out that. I kind of went during the night around midnight and I asked people what they wanted to cop or what they were planning on copping, what they could cop, what, how long they waited, and all that good stuff. Fortunately, I couldn't actually get there the day of when it did drop to see what pieces came out, but thanks to social media and other YouTube videos, you guys saw what dropped. Pretty much the red box logo, t-shirt, hoodie, the Supreme Arc logo, all the leather goods in black, as well as the camo. Now that was about only half of the drop. People didn't realize that the red leather goods didn't drop as well as the denim blue jean stuff did not drop. The silk pajamas did not drop and a few other miscellaneous items. So this Friday, we're reopening the pop-up shops and releasing what didn't release. That is the blue denim stuff, the red leather goods, which you guys saw with the big Supreme logo in white, like just, it's ridiculous. But everyone keeps saying that it's a full restock, like no, it's a full restock, full restock. No one has yet to confirm it. I personally think that it's just the red leather goods as well as the denim because July 14th, they're gonna be doing a in-store release. Aventura, which also is in Miami, is gonna be getting it. And I talked to the lady and she said it's gonna be a full restock. So I don't think that they would fully restock it at the pop-up shop. I think that they're gonna sell whatever didn't sell last week because I'm sure they have some other stuff like the high-end luggage, the camo luggage was not selling. Obviously, they're not gonna sell a box logo t-shirts. They might do a small restock on it for maybe the first couple of people in line, but I don't see them restocking them at all. I just see them releasing the red leather goods as well as the denim. Now, do I think Supreme Louis Vuitton is worth the price? Absolutely not. If you spend $4,000 on a hoodie, you played yourself. You played yourself. Unless you have, you know, if you're a millionaire, and you can afford it, then congratulations. But if you're a kid or a young adult dropping four bands on a hoodie, $4,000 on a hoodie. Spend $4,000 on a hoodie is just absolutely mental. I personally think that resale is gonna die on that. For example, let's say there's 500 people in a town. 300 out of those 500 people get the Supreme Louis Vuitton collab. 200 out of those 300 people are gonna resell it. 100 out of those 300 people are actually gonna keep the Louis Vuitton, Rocket, whatever the case may be. So that leaves 200 people that did not get the Louis Vuitton. But not everyone wants to spend that ridiculous amount of money. So let's say 100 people buy the Supreme Louis Vuitton. That means there's still 100 people left trying to resell it and 100 people left that doesn't wanna buy it. So these people are just gonna be sitting on it. Then they're gonna realize how much money they have invested because the box logo hoodie was 950. Like it was just ridiculous prices. So it's like people invested a lot of money into this thinking that it was gonna resell. And yes, there is some people that have been paying the prices. But like I said, those are the 200 people that are willing to pay those prices. Once those people already spent their money, copped what they want, there's not gonna be anyone else left. Prices are just gonna keep going down, keep going down. I personally think that it's probably gonna go close to retail and you can already see it. Last week, people were asking two bands to 2,500 for the ARC logo sweater, right? Now it's at 1,400. It's just gonna keep going down. So honestly, if you guys actually want something and you're willing to pay almost close to retail or like maybe $100 over retail, I would wait it out. Wait it out, wait it out, wait it out. I saw Matt Park in Cali charging $2,200 for the box logo t-shirt. Like retail was 500 and you're trying to charge 2,200. Who is gonna spend 2,200 on a t-shirt? That is literally, st on a white t-shirt at that. You're eating dinner, you stain it $2,200 down the drain. You could buy a jet ski for $2,200. Same with the people that are spending $10,000 on the backpack. Guys, buy a, black, buy a black Louis Vuitton backpack Get someone that knows how to paint and write Supreme on it. Like, it's not worth 10 bands. I don't think any of this stuff is worth what the resale price is. But like I said, if you're a millionaire, you got the money and you got nothing else to lose, then go for it. But for the people that have to save up their money or sell a lot of things just to get that one item, just so you can, what, show off? Oh, I got the Supreme Louis Vuitton. Like, I'm a hype beast. Look at me. Like, yeah, my jacket costs 4000 What does your cost? I don't know. I, I just don't agree with it. And I don't know, I don't see the resale being worth it at all. But that's just my opinion. It's not facts, it's just everything I'm talking about is just kind of what I feel like is going on and what is going on with the culture. So kind of getting off Supreme Louis Vuitton, kind of talking about, Emilio, what are you doing, you know, a month ago or 
a couple weeks ago you said you're gonna be buying a bus driving around the United States. Yes, I am. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but about four days ago, I started a Patreon. I've been putting in the links. I haven't been saying anything on the vlogs. I wanted to wait for this discussion video to kind of give a reason why I made it. Now, first off, the Patreon, it's not a way of me begging for money or me asking for money. It's pretty much a way of you guys sponsoring or helping out my adventure as well as me posting daily videos, daily vlog. The money that will be used or gained from the Patreon will go towards better camera equipment, more camera equipment, like I really want to get a drone because I think that would make my footage go from like here to here. I want to get a couple more things as well like a GoPro for underwater footage and a few minor things that have to go with making vlogs a lot better than they are now. It will also be used for gas and any expenses that I need for the bus on this travel. It will be used not for personal items and actually that's the main reason why I'm doing this thing. For this adventure, I'm kind of becoming like a minimalist almost. I'm only gonna have one pair of shoes, the rest are gonna be sandals. I'm only gonna have a few pairs of shorts, a few pairs of pants, a few t-shirts, and a few jackets. I'm not gonna have anything crazy, I'm not gonna be buying any personals, I'm not gonna be, oh guys, I just made this much this month, so I'm gonna go to Gucci, I'm gonna go drop it on Yeezys. No, that is not gonna be the case. Everything is going to be used, solely used for making better content and daily content so you guys enjoy watching. So basically there's three tiers on the Patreon. $5, $10, and $20. Now each one will be a month. So $5 a month is like 15 cents a day. The $10 a month is like 25 cents a day. And then $20 a month is like 40 or 50 cents a day. If you really think about it and break it down that way, it's not much at all. I mean, 15 cents a day to help a YouTuber that I love to watch make daily content to make even better content, I would 100% do that. So I figured that would be the best way to do it. And there's little perks for each and every one. Five, basically right now on DITR954, I'm not following anybody. I have zero following. Now, with that $5 a month, I will follow you and that way you can DM me back and forth if you have any questions like, hey, I wanna start my own thrifting business or whatever the case may be, you will be able to send me personal DMs and we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. You will also get an early look of the vlog that will be coming out the day of or the day before. I'll be posting it on my Patreon, like little snippets of clips or maybe half of the vlog will be uploaded through that so half of you guys will be able to see it and you guys will be able to interact with other Patreons throughout the thing. It'll be like almost like a little fan base, like the true people that really mess with me or support me. So it'll be $10, $10 will get you the same thing that the $5 will, I will follow you on Instagram. You will also get my personal Snapchat. And the reason why this may help you or may benefit you is because I'm gonna be Snapchatting every single day. So every single day I'm gonna take multiple Snapchats. So when I go thrifting and I find the finds, I'm gonna put that on Snapchat right then and there rather than waiting till I come home, edit the video, and the video goes live. Now the benefits you in the way of, you can call dibs first. So if you see a Tommy Hilfiger jacket I just posted on my Snapchat, and obviously you are a viewer of that Snapchat, you can message back and say, yo, I want that dibs, and then it's yours. You get first call on it. So that will help a lot of people get the stuff they want, because some people are like, yo man, how do like when do you upload your inventory? Because sometimes I want to buy something and it's sold out instantly. So with that $10 a month, it's kind of like a free way. As well as Snapchat, I'll be able to interact with you and just on a more personal level. Now the $20 a month is the top tier and you get everything from the $10 and $5. So I'll follow you on Instagram. You'll get the personal Snapchat. You'll get the personal polls. You'll get the sneak peek of my videos. And I will do a Skype call with you once a month and I'll put that in a vlog. So however many people I'll do, that's gonna be a vlog. Kinda just talking to my viewer. You know, you can ask questions, you can pretty much just talk about anything, and I'm gonna put that as a vlog. So it's pretty much like you collabing with me because I'm gonna put you in my vlog, people are gonna find out about you or notice about you, and then it's kind of like working your way. You know, you can plug whatever you want, and you know, that can make or break your day. I've seen so many YouTubers that give that one shout out, and that really makes somebody's career just because they have awesome content. Now, minus all these perks, again, it is also for helping and supporting me. You know, usually when big YouTubers have a big following, they can get sponsors from these name brand companies. We'll give them like a thousand dollars a month and that way they can live. Well obviously I'm young, I'm just starting out, so I figured let me have you guys sponsor me. And the way that I can give back is by plugging whatever you guys want, you know, giving you guys a shout out, talking to you guys, answering all the questions. So it's kind of like a more personal level. Just know that none of this money is gonna be used for personal stuff. Like I said, I'm not gonna be buying any personal things. You guys will be 
the count of that. You know, I'm gonna be living on the bus. I'm not gonna have room for a bunch of personal stuff. I'm not gonna be spending that money on that. I'm gonna be spending the money to give back content and just post and produce the best videos that I can. So if you guys wanna join the Patreon, it will be the first link in the description down below. Again, it's gonna be a monthly thing. You can either do the five, 10, or $20 a month. And like I said, a month, $5 a month, you probably give more to that to homeless people walking down the street. You know, you'll give them three bucks, you'll give them two bucks. $5 is about 15 cents a day. $10 is about 25 cents a day. And then $20 is about 40 to 50 cents a day. So, you know, if you really think about it, you're giving me 15 cents a day, that's literally nothing. You know, here, here is actually, I have, look, 20 cents. So here, that's, that's going for today's, you know? So just thinking about it that way, also you're gonna be supporting and helping me make daily amazing content. So hope you guys support me and I just wanna give a huge thank you for, that, for the people that already do. So that being said, let's get into the discussion and let you guys know on my talks about Supreme as well as what my next adventure for these few months is gonna be. So hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it. Damn, I've been in the process of dealing with my car. It took about four weeks to the insurance decide whether or not if my car is a total loss, which meaning it is totaled, or if they can fix it. Basically, we came to a conclusion that it's not worth the money fixing. To fix it, it's gonna cost close to $5,000. The payoff, which payoff means I'm making a loan, like I have a loan on the car. If I spend $9,000, then the car is mine. I have the title in hand. And then the car is valued only at 10,000. So I only have pretty much $1,000 over what the value of my car is worth for my payout. So if I sold it right now for 10,000, I would only make 1,000 because I own 9,000 on it. So to spend 5,000 to fix it, just to get a couple thousand, I would be spend like almost $8,000 just to get rid of my car. And it just would not make sense. So now I'm gonna sell my car as is, and the dealer, whoever I sell it to, will fix it up and sell it. So I'm probably gonna have to spend about 3,000, maybe 4,000 just to get rid of my car. And it, you know, it's 100% my fault. There's nothing really I can do about it. I just gotta keep grinding and saving up. So now that, that leads the bus. For the past few weeks, I've been checking out different buses. I've been looking everywhere. And to be honest, to find a short bus, it's pretty difficult. They have the full-size school buses for days. Literally anyone you can find, they have one. But I need a short bus. The reason is, is short bus is easy to maneuver and just to get around or be less on gas. I don't need a big bus, I need a short bus. So I've been trying to find one as well as a diesel. Since I'm going around the United States, I need a diesel just cause it's better with gas as well as I can go further places. I found one that is pretty nice and I'm gonna be checking out tomorrow, see if I'm gonna buy it. Once I buy it, I'm gonna send it to my buddy's house and he's gonna do a full takeover on it, gut everything. You good guy? I'm vlogging here. Captain. He's gonna do a full renovation on it, gut everything out, put a bed in it, put a toilet, put a stove, put water, everything you can think of, and I'm definitely gonna vlog that on the way. And then my plan is just to hit the road. The first city I'm gonna hit is Orlando. The reason why Orlando, Orlando has good outlets, they have good Goodwills, they have Universal Studios, they have water parks. So this vlog, or my next four months, I'm gonna be doing thrifting, I'm gonna be doing outlet shopping, I'm gonna be doing shopping in general, I'm gonna be doing sightseeing, I'm gonna be doing adventure. So it's pretty much gonna be just a bunch of different things. Everyone thinks that, oh, you're gonna be stop thrifting. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna be producing a lot more content. I'm honestly gonna try to produce two videos a day. I know that seems like a lot, but I'm gonna post one vlog a day and then one either trip to the outlet Captain, so noisy. My dude, you can't play with this right now. I'm vlogging. Just playing with the water bottle. So like I said, two videos a day. I'll be posting a video vlog of just whatever I'm doing that day, and then a specialized video, either it's trip to the thrift, or trip to the outlet, or Universal Studios, or a water park. I wanna have these vlogs very entertaining, and I wanna try to produce the most content I can. I figure since I'm on the road, I gotta do it. Now, you might be asking, what about Captain? And for everyone that is new to the channel, this is my French Bulldog Captain. He's like, what are you doing, guy? <laughs> He's a blue brindle French Bulldog. Oh, let's see if I can show you guys. He looks like a tiger almost. I took him to the pool yesterday, 4th of July, and he went swimming with me. So let's have him on my lap for the rest of this little talk. So, Captain, he's gonna be coming on the adventure with me. It's gonna be me and my French Bulldog. I'm gonna have a crate inside. 
but I'm also making him a service dog. He's gonna be my emotional service dog, which means that he'll be able to go anywhere I go. Let's turn it down a bit. He'll be able to go anywhere I go, and I'll be able to take him. Now you're probably like, Amelia, you're gonna be walking around with the dog, like wherever you go, you're gonna be walking to a thrift store. So I decided I'm gonna be getting a dog stroller for my dog captain. And not even being like a hype beast, I'm probably gonna do like some kind of customization, like maybe put like Supreme on it, or maybe put like Bape Camo. Like I'm gonna customize it, and it's gonna be the Pimp is Dog Stroller, and I'm just gonna be pushing him around, he's gonna be coming with me. Now obviously I can't be bringing him to water parks, so the time I do that, I'm gonna leave him in the bus with the AC on. And I'm gonna have a camera with 24 hour live stream, so that way I can make sure he's okay, check up on him, as well as a very good lock on the bus and security system so you guys don't have to worry he's going to be safe but the times that i don't have to lock him up he's going to be with me pretty much 24 7. so he's gonna be my little buddy he's gonna be on the adventure i figure you know it's the perfect thing i don't want to bring a girl or like any friends just because that's going to cause drama and i kind of just want to do my thing basically like i said i'm going to start uh, orlando will be the first stop from down here Obviously, you guys have been knowing down here I'm not going to do a trip to Thrift Miami because you guys already know that. So Orlando will be the first stop, and then I'll work my way up the East Coast all the way up to New York, and then I'm going to cut over. Once I cut over to the West Coast, I'll probably go down to Cali and then work my way back up like Las Vegas all the way to Colorado. The reason why I'm going to go to Colorado, I'm probably going to end up living there. Depending on how these four months do and whatever happens, I think I'm going to settle down there. I just love it there. The winter... And once I do go in the winter, that means I'm gonna be doing skiing vlogs, snowmobiling, snowboarding, just insane adventure stuff, as well as trip to the thrift, shopping. Everything's always gonna be fashion, you know? I'm always gonna be into fashion, so it's always gonna be fashion oriented. But I figured let's produce more content and let's just travel the country while doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my decision. I'm probably gonna do that for the next four months. So figure it is july right now with like the month i feel like i have another month here so a month of building the bus and getting everything sold and all that good stuff and then i hit the road i'll probably travel for the rest of the year and then january 2018 i will decide where i want to live you know maybe i don't want to live in colorado maybe on this adventure i find another place that is better that i like more you know so maybe i'll do that or maybe i'll continue the adventure maybe i'll take my bus to Europe and I'll drive around Europe or I'll go just different kind of countries. I don't know, maybe the traveling will be like it or maybe I can just settle down and do it. Also, I do have, Captain, you falling asleep, guy? You tired? You tired? Come here, little guy. He's like my little, he's like my little baby. My son. You're sleeping. Also, merch. I am gonna be releasing merch soon, but it's not gonna be what you guys think. It's gonna be very custom, very unique. No one has ever done it. It's not gonna be a t-shirt with my name on it. It's gonna be merchandise that I personally design and make, but I will do another vlog and like kind of tell you guys more about that. I actually just had a meeting yesterday talking about it, so it's in the works. It's about another couple weeks out or so before I get the first sample, and then I will show you guys a sample and get your opinion on what it is. But just know it's going to be sandals as well as side bags. I'm going to might be doing jeans, like different kind of pants. I'm going to be doing sandals first, then jeans, then side bags, and then whatever from there. So I'll talk to you guys more about that. But I think that kind of answers everything about, you know, the Supreme Louis Vuitton, my thoughts on it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little discussion video. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Covered in the sauna, yeah. Every day I'm grinding, yeah. And then maybe I ain't expensive and shooters behind me. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. I know my niggas got these bitches pumped. Burn, burn, burn.